hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be reviewing the new morphe fluidity foundation so i'm going to start off reading what it says the foundation is and what it's about and blah say blah say. so this is what it looks like i got it from morphe store in square one canada so let me tell you what it says so it's called morphe fluidity full coverage foundation and it's 20 it says that it's 24 hour long wear sweat proof transfer resistant water resistant free of oils fragrance and parabens and it's great for all skin types so there are 60 shades and there's five levels 12 shades in each level and mine oh it's a matte foundation by the way so the color that i picked up is f4 30 so this is in the this is level four which is the rich level it's a 30 ml one fluid ounce so it looks like i already moisturized my face and all that shit so i'm just gonna start swatching it okay probably should open the box before what it looks like I was kind of stuck between this one and then the F420 I wasn't sure and one of the girls helped me so hopefully hopefully this is my shade swatch it on my chest Also, I always tend to get my um, foundations a little bit darker. It looks really peachy. But, you know, I, I like it. It's okay. So, let's put on my face. Why does apply foundation so weird? I'm gonna start off with a little bit and then we're going to blend it up. I'm gonna use a brush today. Oh, this is a Morphe E6 brush. Mm -hmm. Like, I kinda. Like you know when you have something on your face and you like you can feel that's on your face. That's how I feel. At least. But it feel it doesn't feel like heavy, heavy. It's definitely a little darker than my neck, but I want it to be like that because when I like put all my powders on and stuff, it kinda bounces it out. So now for concealer. So I got two concealers. So this is a soft matte concealer the fluidity full coverage concealer and this is in the color uh c3.55 and then i also got the food this is another full coverage concealer it's a corrector and this is c0000 so c000 and it's soft matte and this one the matte one that's in white it's a white concealer it says it has instant full-on concealer power so blendable multitasking formula free of fragrance and free of parabens so when i went to the store it was saying that you can like mix this with your foundation or your concealer to make it more full coverage so and um you can also use it to like cut your crease and all that other stuff so that's probably what i'm going to be using it for and then this one <clears throat> it says Basically the same thing as that. It's instant, instant full-on concealing power, blendable, multitasking formula, and free of fragrance and parabens. So again, this color is C355. They also had um oh, what was the thing called? Primers. They had an equalizing primer and a moisturizing primer, none of which I care to buy because most concealers from most brands do not work for me hold, hold on wait hold, hold on wait why is 
this is so white that is not what it looks like in the box oh i don't know if you guys can see that like that's the color i don't know this is what it looks like here it's really light yeah I don't know, we'll see. So we're gonna start off with the concealer, we're gonna conceal under our eyes. It's really thick, not really thick, but like it's like a good... Good thickness. Like I like the concealer still, so... Okay, I'm gonna put some on this side. It's pretty fucking thick, like me. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding, it's definitely too late. know I live it looks really really like crazy and camera but like in person it does not like it looks really good in person but I definitely still have to add like a, a darker concealer over top of it and since I didn't I only bought one Morphe concealer I'm just gonna go in over it with my Maybelline instant age rewind but let's see how it does first I'm still going to add a dark shade over top of it, but it blended out pretty good. Do this side. Also, I forgot to mention the concealer. Both of them, they were $12 Canadian and the foundation was $24 Canadian, which is pretty fucking cheap compared to most concealers and most foundations which are like in the $50 mark and then concealers are like $32 for most of them so it's pretty it's pretty pretty affordable I actually like the concealer um, what I would do is I definitely would get a darker shade though like the shade is way 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 too light for me way too freaking light for me okay so we're gonna go in with some Laura Mercier and we're going to set my under eyes and then I'm gonna finish concealing the rest of my face actually I'm gonna put a little bit of Ben Eye like just to get like, some of the color gonna finish concealing so we're definitely gonna be mixing this so let's do a little bit of that here here oh. interesting smell and then this one to darken it up cream contour we're going to go in with the morphe m436 it's a stippling brush and i'm going to blend up my cream contour set my cream contour we're going to go in with another morphe product most of the products in the video is going to be morphe most of them are gonna be Morphe, so I'm gonna go back in with another Morphe product, and it's the Brown to Bronzer and Contour Palette, and it's called Showman's. So we're gonna use obviously the brown, um, the bronzer, and it is called Show. 
and I'm just gonna go over all the places where I contoured. And I really like this. I love this color. It's like a nice brown. And it's not too, like, you know, sometimes when people have like bronzers and stuff, it makes you look mad fucking gray, especially for like black girls who look gray. Like, this one's really nice. But I like my, um, my contour to be really nice and my chocolate brown before I used to use like like I I legit had to use like eyeshadow shades because I never really found one that I liked I'm sure there was some out there but there was never really one that I really really liked and I got this one recently and yeah I used to use not we are going to snatch the cheeks And I usually, I usually always use um like a pencil. But today, again, we got brow pomade from Morphe. So this one is a Morphe Brow Cream, and it's in the color Chocolate Mousse. Uh, it says Blend the Rose. That's cute. So I literally went to the Morphe store and bought a, and bought a whole bunch of shit. So we're gonna so we're gonna mix the concealer that I got. So the um the C three point five five. We're gonna mix it with the C zero point zero zero, just to make it like a really nice clean base for our shadow. So then I'm gonna use this flat brush and then I'm kind of gonna mix it in together. So, so far, the foundation looks pretty good. It feels pretty good. I know it felt like it, it kind of felt a little heavy at first, but I feel like maybe that's just because it's a new foundation and like, you know, it's just not something I'm used to putting on my skin. So it felt, it felt a little heavy at first, but it feels pretty good now. Since we're doing all Morphe products today, I'm going to go in and then do a little eye look again using another Morphe product. The Chocolate Hill palette. It's really dirty. Hold on, juice break. Okay, here's some more. Oh yes, my new favorite. And this is the 35 something. 35 M. So maybe we should use like some of the fun colors, maybe like a green or something. Get a box to something. Mm. Okay, so we're starting off with the 35M and we're gonna go in with this nice lime green. So now we're gonna go in with my Morphe M433. This is literally like my favorite brush. I lost it a couple months ago and then I bought it back when they brought Morphe to square one and I was so fucking happy. I think I have to go get another one because like this is literally like my favorite brush. It's like it's dense but it's a little bit more tapered and it's fluffy but not that fluffy and it's tapered. And it just it just gets you know it just gets like right in the in the outer corner in that little crease it gets in there really good and I love it it's my favorite brush. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm just going to talk you guys through this part. So this is a Coastal Sun shadow. It's called Fresh Chive. And I'm just going to take that on the outer corner of my eye. And I'm also going to mix it with this dark green shade from the Jaclyn, Pal Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm just going to run it ar along my lash line and up into my crease a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with another Coastal Sun shadow. And it is called Deep Eggplant. It's a blue shade. There's a bit of shimmer in it. So I'm just going to take that and I'm going to pop that in my crease as well just to give it a bit of like more depth and a bit of radiance, radiance, gradient from the green to the blue. So I'm just popping that in to my crease now and I'm going to take it more all the way, not all the way to the front, but like midway to the front. So when I cut my crease, you can see a bit of um gradients. So here I'm just going to use the C0.00, the white concealer, and I'm going to cut my crease. And then I applied a green shimmery shadow from the Jaclyn Hill palette and into my crease. And then I'm going to go back in with the deep eggplant and then just blend it into the, the lime green foil shadow at the top. Here you can just see me looking in the mirror. This is when I started to notice that my foundation was separating around my nose a little bit and was looking a bit oily. And I was not impressed to say the least. You could have also, I don't know if you guys could see it on camera, but like the like on the top of my nose, you can literally see the oil like oozing through my pores. So that was really annoying. And I primed my skin pretty darn good. So I don't know why that was happening, but that was basically the only downfall of the foundation that I noticed. So here I'm just applying a little bit of Laura Mercier just to get rid of the oiliness and the pores. Okay, so I added a little bit of eyeliner to my lash line off camera. And now I'm just going to put some lashes on. And the lashes I'm using are from Viso Lashes. And it is in the style E11. So I'm just going to pop that on. This, um, the foundation around my nose, it's really separating. Like, I don't know, maybe I didn't prime that area properly well enough with my Mother Manisha. Because this literally never happened. And I'm not going to say it's the foundation because... It literally doesn't happen to me with any other foundation, so I'm just going to go with the fact that I may not have put a decent amount of makeup magnesia in that area. Because the foundation is sitting fine everywhere else and I'm super oily here, super oily around my, not a, my mouth and on my chin, so... I'm going to give the foundation. Okay, so I just finished my under eye. I just added some eyeshadow, some the green and yeah, so I just added green eyeshadow to under my eye, buff it out a little bit. I put a black eyeliner in my waterline and I'm just going to go in with my MAC Mineralized Powder and my Mineralized Skin Finish Powder from MAC and I'm just going to go over top of my foundation honestly what am I doing? I almost I almost forgot to contour my damn nose so here I'm just contouring my nose with a Morphe contour palette, the one I used really to contour my face. Then I'm going to go in with my Studio Makeup Luminous Blush, then my Maybelline Highlight in Molten Gold, put on some Fix Plus, some NYX Setting Spray, and then I'm going to do my lips. So I used a brown NYX pencil, then I used True Story by Morphe, the liquid lipstick, and then I used two glosses, one called Sugar Mama and one called Fair Play by NYX. Okay, so let's talk about the products overall. Let's start with my favorite. So I like this. It definitely makes it more full coverage. I like both of the concealers. This one I like. I just definitely got the wrong shade, so I need a darker shade. 
but this I'm here for it it's nice it's full it's thick it's creamy it's it's full coverage it blends pretty well I like it so I'm here for this the foundation the foundation is full coverage which is bomb that's really good um, it went on my it kind of felt a little heavy to me um, but I'm gonna chalk that up to the fact that I'm used to wearing like a specific foundation and I don't really go outside of my comfort zone so I'm just gonna chalk it up to it being a new foundation and it's just new on my face and I wasn't like it just felt weird on my face because I'm not used to wearing it so that's one thing it's definitely full coverage which is good the shades are really the shades are decent it, it matched me pretty well you see in, in the beginning the video was like a little bit darker but when I put my setting powder and everything on it matched perfectly that's good um, so I didn't have to mix it which is fantastic sometimes I have to like mix my foundations and stuff this one's pretty good um, I always get my foundations a shade or two darker for that purpose because if if you get your foundation like spot on and when you put your your setting powder or like your contour powder all your powders on your face is going to look mad white and mad ashy in my opinion so that's why i always get my foundation a shade or two lighter and you see how it blends perfectly and this is what it looks like before i put all this stuff on um what i did not like is that halfway through my makeup i noticed that it started to separate around my nose like i i don't i wasn't feeling it and then like even after i put my setting powder and stuff on i can see it like sinking into my pores around my nose and that's like this is like my problem area so it's super 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 oily around my nose so i don't know if i didn't put on enough milk of magnesia as my primer i didn't put on enough um this is the other primer I use. It's an Elf Poreless Primer. I don't know if I did, I don't know what it was, but it definitely was separating around here. Other than that, I actually really like the foundation. It's really good. It's twenty. It's twenty four dollars. Like you can't go wrong compared to like where is it? Like like the Estee Lauder and like the Double Wear and that those foundations that are like fifty fifty odd dollars. This is really good for the price in Canadian. So I'm pretty sure it's even cheaper in America american if it's 24 dollars in canadian so <clears throat> so yeah so for 12 dollars i mean for 24 dollars the foundation's really good i recommend it i like it um i'm gonna try it again and make sure i pay extra attention to when i'm priming my face and stuff because loki when i was starting i was kind of like rushing putting my um my primer and shit on because i just wanted to film it so that's probably the reason why the oils and stuff was seeping through and separating around my nose. I always have to like make sure when I'm putting on my primer and stuff that I really get like in the creases and get get in there good because I know that I'm really friggin' oily on my skin. Just like if I don't prime it and stuff properly, it starts to separate. So that's probably my bad. But other than that, foundation's good. It is full coverage. It's a good shade range. It's here for the black girls, you know, it's always hard for a bitch to find a proper foundation shape, but I did for me. So, yeah, I would recommend it. It's cheap, it does what it says, and yeah, it's pretty good. So, you go to square one or online or however you get your fucking foundations and buy it because it's good. And I really like this one for cut and crease and stuff and like... If you're one of those people that do like carnival makeup, like really bright colors like those pink and oranges and white, if you want to use the James Charles palette, get this because it's going to make the colors pop more. So, yeah. I like it. So, again, thank you for watching my video. I mean, this is really annoying me. <laughs> But anyways, thanks for watching my video. Make sure you like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter. <laughs> follow me on Instagram and Snapchat so you guys can see when I'm posting stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!